Hey y'all and welcome back to the homestead. So this is going to be a little bit of an unusual video slash series. Um, it's uh, sort of homestead stuff and sort of automotive stuff. So I'll show you what I got. <laughs> So just a quick heads up here before we get into the video. This video was shot in July, but unfortunately life got crazy busy. So now it's winter time and I'm finally getting some time to edit it. Um, so that's why you see grass in the video and snow outside right now. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video. This is basically my journey rebuilding my first truck so i uh picked up a truck i wanted a diesel and i wanted a 2500 and i'm a gm and chevy for life guy so this is what i came across with this is what i came across you can see it's got a little rust right here a little bit on the uh, panels here. I'm gonna put rockers on this side. Um, typical GM Chevy door handle that I have to fix. Uh, the guy I got it from was parting it out, so it's missing bumper and hood. On this side, door handles are fine. Rockers are almost perfect. Doors are fine. And back here, it needs a box. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do here is I'm going to take an angle grinder with the. Uh, sorry about that. I'm going to take an angle grinder with the uh, brush wheel on it. Take all this down and paint it before I put it back so it uh, lasts a little longer. I got this one instead of some other ones because unfortunately in these years, this is an 01 GMC Sierra 2500 HD, it's the SL package. Um, these trucks are usually rusted, like I looked at one, most of the bottom of this door was gone, the whole, that there was basically completely gone, um, the box was almost detached, but basically had nothing holding it on and that's most of them because well we're here in Canada and they use salt on the roads in Ontario so it's that or it's shop around till you find a good one like this or import one from the states or BC where they don't salt so yeah this is uh, the project and I'm gonna see how it goes it does uh, run and drive it needs brakes as well uh, there's a least one leak I've seen so far over here on this corner going to this front right tire Let's see if I can right there in this line so that's one and uh, there might be some more another common issue with these um, the guy somewhere along the way put coppers on uh, at least one set so that's nice because those won't rust out it looks like this set's still steel so we'll see if that set's okay or not it was running when i got it um i think it's actually at a diesel right now and there's a possibility it needs a fuel pressure sensor or there's a bad wiring harness pretty common on these but it was running when i bought it and uh Right now, the fuel lines are soft, and I'm fairly certain it's out of diesel. That's another thing I have to do. Um, when they took the box or something, somebody snipped the uh, fuel level wires and go into this jack. Uh, because it's a diesel, there's no pump in the tank. So it's literally just those two wires. I should be able to put that jack on real easy. So yeah, it came with the headlights out, so what I'm working on right now is putting these headlights in. One of the reasons I love uh, GMs and Chevys, it's literally this easy. 
pull these pins out. Hook up your connectors, which I'm going to do off camera because that's just too much. Put the two connectors on and put those two pins in. All right, so there we are with the wire connectors on. All right, so phone died there and I put them on, but it's literally as easy as yanking this pin out, pushing that in, and pushing that pin back in. However, I got uh, both lights are out, which makes me think it's probably a fuse. If not, I'm going to check these with the uh, voltmeter maybe after checking the fuse box. See if it's just a blown headlight fuse. If not, I'll, uh, I got lights. If it's not the bulbs, I'll uh, see from there. Might be just the bulbs are blown or it could be a bad fuse. Either way, I got parts trucks all over here. I can take parts from so that's good um so kind of the plan for this thing i'll turn the lights on so you can see all the lights that are currently working it's got a cloth interior nothing fancy okay so inside light works um Eventually, I'm either going to do seat covers or leather seats. I got a pair of leather seats in one of the parts trucks around here. Um, the seats are pretty clean. The cab's nice. It's uh, not too bad. So here's what we got for lights. So a couple of the clearance lights are out. And we've got uh, some lights down, but no headlights. So let's see if we can fix that. Also... When I check the turn signals, the bulb on that right hand side is all out in the back. So I'll have to replace that. So the plan for this truck initially, I um, I got to put the parts all on it that are required for safety, do brake lines, etc. Put the box on. Once I get it safetyed, I'm not sure whether I'm going to paint it first or safety it first. Um, the parts I have, the hood's probably going to be red, the box is red, um, and if I do these doors, I forgot to mention this door has a dent in it, right there, and I might replace that door because of that rust. If I do these doors, they'll be red as well, most likely. So, I want to paint it. My goal is to do gloss black. I really like gloss black. Um, unfortunately, uh, from everything I hear, it's extremely hard to actually do. Uh, so we'll see. We might go with white, if not gloss black, maybe white. Um, I eventually want to do the upgrade to the 2017 towing style mirrors, the bigger mirrors. Um, I'm going to probably do new clearance lights, the new LED fogged ones, because those are blown anyways. And I have to pull them off because there's a little rust spot right below that light. I'm going to have to sand and paint up there. Um, aside from that, box on the back here. This is an 8-foot box, and I've got a nice 8-foot box for it. And that's about it. Um, there's more stuff I've been looking into. I might do... Uh, Put a CTS-3 uh, Evolution in there eventually and possibly some EFI Live stuff as well for an economy tune and a slight performance tune. I don't want to go too crazy with it because as far as I know, the transmission on this thing is stock. All right, so a little bit has happened since the last time I was videoing. I couldn't get my headlights to work for me. 
and I was having a huge amount of trouble getting these high beams and low beams to work. I checked fuses, relays, I was trying to check some voltages, and then I was uh, in the cab here, and Ethan mentions to me uh, that there's a jack hanging down right here, which at first didn't make much sense to me because there's all kinds of jacks hanging down here for aftermarket stuff. Sorry about that. And then I realized that jack right there wasn't plugged in. Plugged it in, and now I'm gonna start her up so she uh, doesn't kill the battery. This uh, park reverse neutral drive thing's intermittent. It quit working, then started working. Now it stopped working again. Might be the cluster. I know a bunch of the gauges on here aren't working. The uh, speedometer isn't working. Fuel gauge isn't working, but that's probably because of the missing plug. The fuel pressure is all over the place. If I rev it a bit, you'll see here. Sometimes it sits right in the middle. Battery voltage seems to be working. Although, battery light on for some reason. I wonder if the radio works now. There we go. I get lights on the radio, but I don't know. Maybe I'm not doing something right. We'll see. Anyways, turn off these lights. The first thing I was having a problem with was this hood latch. As you've seen in the video clip, I was dropping the hood pretty hard trying to get this thing to latch and it just wouldn't latch. So I took out the old latch. I'll actually show that to you here. Took out the old latch here. I don't know exactly what was wrong with it, but I got lots of trucks around here with spare parts, so just grabbed another one. There she goes. Latches up just fine, unlatches to good too. I gotta do uh, a little work on the body gaps here. I think that's probably quarter inch down at this end and three eighths up there. So I'll see if I can kind of tweak that a bit. I mean, it's by no means a, uh, new car it's uh, seen its better days this side is almost uniform but still a little wide i'll see if i can pull them in a bit but yeah so lights working hoods on hoods working i gotta do a little work on it eventually um up next is the bumpers or the bumper and the box i think i'm gonna leave the doors for now let me turn this i think i'm gonna leave the passenger side doors and do them later because for now as it stands it looks better with two black doors that have one has a small dent and a rust hole in it than two bright red doors and I don't have the time to paint it right now I'm doing this after work basically I also got my brake lights working which they weren't working before now all I can't get working is the reverse lights there's a couple wires here this one and that one are broken so i'm gonna try and patch that up figure out if there's anything else broken maybe get the reverse lights working aside from that um brake lines and i eventually let me pop the hood here oh 
I still have to get a horn working. I'll maybe have to replace the clock spring, which again, I have spare in our parts trucks. I got three parts trucks. I got a Chevy, which is what I initially pulled the hood from for this, an 01, an 01 Chevy. And turns out that there's a slight difference. The 01 Chevy lights were long and thin. They look just like that, but right here. And the 01 GM lights are wide, so there's a, instead of coming straight across, the hood curves up at the edge. So, took that hood off and put it on and then realized it didn't fit. So that's done. I eventually want to um, change the brake lines here because it has a bit of a sort of like a throb at idle when you first start it up if you don't prime this. If you prime this, it's good. And if looking at the hoses there, uh, the output one especially is pretty cracked. Yeah, it's focused there. Yeah, that one's pretty cracked, so probably eventually going to do hoses on it, but it starts okay for now. Um, I eventually want to put a second battery in here because this thing really likes to suck back the battery when you're cranking on it. Aside from that, yeah, horn, brakes, and tires, obviously. These things are mashed up in a uh, bumper and box, and hopefully it'll be ready for safety. We'll see. So, that's that for now. All right, so I had a bit of a problem here. This gauge was staying at 180. So I took it out, put it back to where it belongs. And so far, it works now. Also, sorry about that. Also, I was having uh, an issue where this park reverse neutral drive would only come on when the key was in accessory mode, but not in run mode. So it's working now, so I'm gonna leave it for now, but we'll see, it, it's intermittent, it's like on and off, we'll see if it stays working this time. I also replaced the high beam bulb. You can see it there. That was blown. And I have a parts gauge here in case I need other parts. But for now, that's good. I uh, took the bumper mostly off the donor truck. I'm just waiting. I have to take two, four more bolts off, I think. And I'm gonna have to cut them off with an angle grinder. And then hopefully I can get the bumper on this one. Because the hood's on, if I get the bumper on, the front end's basically finished. Hopefully I'll have the brakes done soon. And then, it's just the box. I gotta order that door handle. And, got these headlights all working properly now. Oh, I need a horn. And that's about it. So, we'll see. So I painted the frame. It's not perfect, but my main goal is to make it so that the wheel wells look okay. And I think I did an okay job of that. And to keep the uh, rust off it a little longer. So I didn't go crazy. Like you can see there's spots in there. There's some spots in there that are hard to get to and over there and I didn't really do the underside you can see down below it's pretty much not painted but I can do that later if I really really want to since the box is on so yeah 
frames painted. It's good enough. Uh, I'm gonna try and get the bumper off today. I'm not sure if that'll happen. And the box, that'll probably be a little later because I got some stuff coming up. So, this is uh, where we're at for now.